Hey, God bless you, my friend. This is Sister Sharon, and today we are discussing, girl, who you think you fooling? Listen, sisters in Christ, this type of garment has become a fashion trend and staple, but it is very inappropriate for us that confess Jesus Christ as our Savior. This woman... If you look, the emphasis is on two places, the shoulders, the chest, and the breast. It is inappropriate, ungodly attire for those of us who confess Jesus Christ. I was in shock as this one sister who emailed me, I went to check her out only to find this woman had to be in her 70s. She's sitting on her YouTube channel with a blouse on similar to this one, 70 something years old. Sisters, wake up. This is sexual, it is provocative, it is inappropriate. And for those of you that seem to have a problem with understanding, a tree is known by the fruit that it bears. When you are bearing this sexual provocative attire on God's temple, your body is his temple. And if you think for one second that how you display what you display on this temple doesn't matter, you are deceived. First Timothy chapter 2, where, where Paul was exhorting through writing the young pastor Timothy, you have to understand that Ephesus was a very wealthy city and the women, most notably the emperor's wife, it is said that she would walk around with the receipt to one of the dresses that was made for her. It probably took years to make it where they sold real pearls and emeralds on her dress. And this is why Paul said, don't let it be expensive attire, ladies, and, and braided hair decorated with gold. In other words, you are adorning your body, not only inappropriately, but you are putting on expensive attire where you begin to boast about it. Because that's what they say. The emperor's wife walked around with a receipt to show people how expensive her dress was. But where am I going with this? Do you actually think when Paul said that a woman should be the, should adorn ourselves in modest apparel, he was not dealing with nothing like this. This is not even clothing, sister. This is like a, a fancy rag. You know how you, you, you have rags to riches and, and you're half torn up? That's what this is, sisters. I challenge each and every last one of you. If this is how you are still dressing, I challenge you to really search your heart because it is likely, beloved, you do not have the Holy Spirit. And don't let us be deceived, sisters and brothers. There are masses of people who make a confession for Jesus, but you are not a follower of Jesus. You do not have the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit convicts you and I of that which can cause you to sin and others. And let me tell you, if you can put this type of shirt on with these shoulders out, you are still moving in lasciviousness. And if it doesn't bother you, I'm telling you, sisters, you're likely you are deceived by your own sin. Just like Hebrews chapter 10 says that we should provoke one another until the day of the Lord. If you think, sisters, that you can still do the sexy and be a saint, you're deceived. This is inappropriate attire. He or she that has the ear to hear, because many of you brothers, as I keep saying on other videos, you're not saying nothing. You buy this stuff for your daughters. You buy this stuff for your wives. You buy this stuff. Wake up, people. Wake up. The way is straight and it's narrow. And Jesus said, few shall find it. It's time for many of you to keep moving towards that straight and narrow path, and you need to start with your closet. Start with your closet, sisters. What you wear does matter. It does. 
Because what's in your heart is manifest by not only your conversation, but how you go about adorning that bodysuit. This is ungodly. He or she that has an ear to hear, let us hear. For those who are not in Christ, wear what you want to wear. But y'all that claim the name, come on, sisters. You got to examine your heart. What's really going on? 